pretending you're not happy, I can stay a bit longer now. Uncle Kane sorted it with the mad lady. She's not mad. She's a friend. And it's far from sorted. Yeah, you didn't see the way she was getting all stabby with them scissors. Yeah, because of what you did to her. Yeah, and I've told you, that's the old me. I'm not going to do that again, honest. Hey, is the fit vet coming back today? You don't need her. Have you taken your antibiotics? Oh, I forgot. Oh, you're less clammy today, that's good. You can get lost now then, can't you? No, he's not well enough. Yeah, I do feel a bit weak. Might go back to bed. Don't even think about it. You can go and get a shower. There's something I need you to do. Is it going to be something I like? Probably not. But now that everything's out in the open, I want you to go and speak to Laurel. Persuade her that you're not all bad. All right. To be honest, I think she's got a bit of a thing for me anyway. Don't mess me around, Ross. This has to be a genuine apology. Oh, I've tried, but you know what she's like. Yeah, but you need to mean it this time. Show her who you really are. He's got a screw loose, Mum. How's he going to manage that? There's a heart in there. Somewhere. Let her see that. It's the least she deserves. And then promise that you're never going to do anything like this again. And that she doesn't have to look at you again. You're going to get your life back on track and start afresh. Yeah, but not round here the way, mate. Wherever you go. So will you do it for me? I'll give it a shot. Where does she live? <laughs> You're not going there on your own. That's just asking for trouble. I'll take you. Make sure you get it right. I don't like being summoned. That was quick. I'm staying at the B&B. &B. Well, I thought you'd be long gone. I'm going. As soon as you tell me what it is you want, your boy out of my house. I thought it was Maury's house. The point is, the longer he hangs around round here, the more chance he's got of being arrested. Plus, you don't want the police sniffing round. You got something to hide? Not me. I'm not the one nicking cars and attacking women. You sure? I'm not making this stuff up. I don't believe this. Look, it wasn't pretty. She saw him yesterday and she wasn't happy. Threatened to call the police, but I managed to talk her down. I shouldn't have bothered. So, so you want to see him get sent down? If that's what he needs. What he needs is for you to stop acting like he doesn't exist. He's not our problem. Morris only taken him on because you won't. And you want him out of the way. <laughs> for Moira, she's stuck in the middle. Choosing him over someone she's known for years, someone he's scared half to death. And as a result, she's getting it in the neck. So you're going to leave her be, or you're going to do the right thing and get him out of there? So, do you know what you're going to say? You mean apart from sorry? Sorry, 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 sorry. Am I sorry. wasting my time here? I'm trying to help you because nobody else will, but if you're going to be like this, I might as well give up. No. I can do it. Right. Because nobody's forcing you. If you're going to do this, it has to mean something, but you know what you did was wrong. I do. I'll prove it to you. Yeah. I thought you'd gone. I thought I'd stop a bit longer. That's your idea of a holiday. Far from it. Haven't you got a farm to run? It's taken care of. Could always use an extra pair of hands. Not me or her. You. We've been through this. This time is different. No strings. I just want you to come home. <laughs>